Hey everybody, Mackenzie here. I have an interesting subject sitting in my chair today. Usually have a woman, I have a man. Now, we're pushing the limits of invisible bead extensions today. Y'all, we're doing invisible beard extensions. Now, I have this sweet man sitting in my chair and we've had a consultation and I'm gonna let him share with you what has brought him here to this chair today. Why don't you tell them about your thoughts and feelings and why you're sitting here wanting invisible beard extensions? Well, it's quite simple. I've been following on social media, Instagram, and I see all these women getting their hair done and they come in and before it's janky and then they leave and it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. And I've been a little self-conscious about my beard and No Shave November comes every year, and I just feel left out. Like, I can't compete, I can't hang. I've been uninvited from party. I have lost friends because my beard is not up to par. And so I'm like, I, something's gotta give. I gotta get in here, I gotta at least talk to the queen <laughs> about my options. Is this a possibility? And I think if it works out, it's gonna like level me up as a man, like no other. I will start changing the oil on my own truck. Mm -hmm. I will put a worm on a hook by myself. Like the sky's the limit. So my beard is yours. Do this. Okay, so how how can I turn him away? After that kind of story, losing friends, not feeling like a man, I have to help this guy out. So Here's the plan. Based on the distribution of hair in his beard and the growth patterns, I'm going to do a mini row here and we will do a full row here, really accentuating his jawline to get him maximum growth, maximum manhood. Um, I can already feel like his muscles are growing just even with the pot of this beard. So stay tuned. You're about to see his life change before your eyes. So we have row one in and he's already feeling a lot better about his life situation, right? Yeah, I can feel like testosterone already surging. <laughs> okay. Like, it's real. Okay. So here's what's the, the cool thing about this is now that he's feeling like he can change the oil in his truck, he is going to have to flip his head up and the potential, you know, if he had another kind of beard extension, of seeing the actual extension points would be there. But because we have invisible beard extensions, he can flip his head up underneath the truck and no guys will be able to see that he is wearing beard extensions. And isn't that flexible? I mean, yeah, it's great, comfortable.
Okay, so we have our full row and a mini in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with my razor and I'm going to really blend stuff out. You know, and I wanted to point out, I'm really happy that I chose to go with a balayage weft on the top here because I feel like, you know, it really just adds some texture, some little natural highlights that a man's beard naturally has. So again, we're really going for a natural look here. And even without us even cutting this in, it's looking amazing. All right, so I'm going to share with him a few beard hacks so that as he is styling his beard extensions, he can know how to kind of zhuzh the beard and make sure that everything is looking good. So one of those hacks is grabbing a comb and doing a little bit of some back combing action. So you're just gonna take this, and this depends on if you want a real fluffy beard or if you want to have a real nice and smooth beard. But if you want it to look a little unruly and fluffy, you're going to take a comb and you are going to start to back comb a little bit. with the results of his IBE. Now I gotta ask you, can I like, just, I gotta know, like how does it feel to kiss somebody with extensions like this? Can I try? <laughs> you guys, this is my husband. He's rocking his IBE. <laughs>